So we saw Doji's true character in the previous episode as he managed to uh, unlock Rana's locked emotions and Toad and Toad and Toad Rokudo that if he wants to get Rana back, then he's gonna have to go through hell in order to get her. So I suppose it's either we're building up to the to the fight episode just because you know it's episode 9 and like if they finish the fight in like episode 10 or 11 then you know we'll, we'll have like an extra episode of just them doing something <laughs> but i don't know maybe we'll start right now and then we'll end in like episode 12 i doubt it but we'll, we'll we'll see where it goes oh yeah that reminds me the the ryugu gang is uh going to get beat by rana so that's fun <laughs> But if you guys enjoy the content, remember to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't. And if you didn't like the content, dislike the video and we'll be on our way. Let's get started. Ah. Come on down to hell with us. <laughs> you guys live in separate worlds. <laughs> I love it, dude. It's so cliche. Ugh, oh, the school festival's tomorrow. That means the Ryugu gang is coming tomorrow and they're gonna get their ass beat. You're not alone? <laughs> oh, you've got friends, dude. You've made friends over the years. Or, uh, over the months. I don't know how long it's been, actually. <laughs> it's not years, that's for sure. They're still in the same year. Look, even if you don't have Rana, You've got, you've got Osanada, the fucking Bancho. Come on now. I don't know if how we're able to get Himeno into this, but if, fuck it, dude. She'll fit her 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 scooter in there, in the school somewhere. And of course, Inuma is also a a, a a good fighter from everybody who's been talking. You know, we've seen that boy fucking wailing on Rokudo in the second episode. Mm, they're having a meeting at night. <laughs> <laughs> She's in her pajama because she lives here. <laughs> we were stalking girls. <laughs> they were extorting him? Or are they spraying rumors that... <gasps> That's some horror movie shit right there. <laughs> we're out here announcing... These are, uh, big brother. So they're the Kaze, though, yeah. <gasps> Damn, did they even change their eye shape and everything? Oh, shit. <laughs> Makeup? <laughs> was an incredibly convincing woman. <laughs> Oh, we were like, why bother putting on makeup skill when you just beat her up, am I right? I mean, she's got a heal, but like... Well, he's gotta get rid of all the emotional points on her. And Ryugu was the reason why the Onishima Union got destroyed. That's right, yeah. Gotta separate her from everybody and create the ultimate weapon. <laughs> Got these school of just like goody tissues. <laughs> they're <laughs> they're here ready to fucking fight at the school festival, dude. Oh, they're all in their suits and everything. And he's in his white fucking suit. That's your initiation. For how long though, huh? How long is this piece? <laughs> to drop out. <laughs> Damn, she's gonna fucking erase you guys from the script. <laughs> she, she's 
just gonna slice the script up and you guys gonna vanish. <laughs> yeah, the Ryugu will come. Don't worry. <laughs> he can take care of it. <laughs> just fucking leave him. <laughs> you can fucking cover more ground on your own. You know, don't you think that you should at the very least wait for them to come into the school before you ambush them? Like, everybody's just at the front of the school. Unless they've got, like, other people, like, up at ready to fill in the streets or something. <laughs> we can't protect ourselves. <laughs> Gotta be resourceful, dude. Uh-oh. He will deal with them, huh? <laughs> you said you've quit the Onishima. <laughs> Look at him being bad cop, dude. <gasps> oh my god. <gasps> she just made up you guys. Yeah, he's got another ally! <laughs> he's gonna fight our brother! Let's fucking go, dude! <gasps> we'll talk it out! So anyways, you wanna take that ring off of you? Or is that literally like, it won't come off unless you cut your finger? <laughs> <gasps> Just fucking jump down the bridge. <laughs> I mean, they'll probably just all swarm around you, but... You can't trust Rhino yet, guys! Even though I know that she said that she's here to quit. Yeah. Suddenly came to where you guys were. They also said, uh, he will take care of it, huh? Big brother. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. How did, how did he manage to fucking do that? <laughs> you had Cho in your hand? <laughs> His, <laughs> His voice does not fit. <laughs> oh, you girls don't know what's coming. <laughs> You girls don't know what's coming. Dude, if I was a Ryugu and I just saw these people ready to beat me up, I'm just like, come out of here. <laughs> just driving my motorcycle. Damn, he knocked out? Wow, it's like a fucking signal. <gasps> She's found love! <laughs> we did it! But he... He sees the real me! <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Amano, Amano. Oh shit! Right in the fucking head! Rokudo? <laughs> oh shit, we're down an iron for Rokudo. You gotta wait! Fucking Yashia's here. Is that Himeno? <laughs> Wait, y'all took them with the bike to the gym? <laughs> oh no, it's all dudes in a dress. Oh, it's Himeno.
<laughs> oh yeah, I forgot she does have a gang. <laughs> Cruising team! Hell yeah, dude! Oh, here's the Ryugu. <laughs> Never like this before. <laughs> oh, is that Tsubaki? Yeah. <laughs> Y'all better get on your motorcycle and drive off! <laughs> These boys are having a little bit too much fun. <laughs> oh god, they're just gonna argue! <laughs> They're coming on the other side, too! You guys are on a fucking motorcycle. Just fucking get on and drive away! <laughs> Not the slap! <laughs> you heard, daughter? She's gonna slap them all! Bitch. <laughs> <gasps> She's gonna slap all the boys to make sure they don't fucking get back up. So the whole gang's not gang. Oh? Sabaki, you better, you better move out of this place. Erica? Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> She's fighting at red heels and everything? Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't know why she stayed behind. It's just like, guys. <laughs> girls! <laughs> You're a weak spot! Uh oh. Otohime's gotta. Fucking. Oh no! She's gonna have to fight Rana! Oh Some of it? <laughs> you know, the one with Rhino was real, at least. <laughs> How dare you be a bad person! <laughs> Doesn't mean that I can't pull her to the good side! <laughs> she was born bad. Bla bad. <laughs> it's got bad blood in her. Wait, we weren't real enemies before? Oh shit! <laughs> No, not without Rana. This boy might be scared, but he's gonna keep going. Bitch, you ain't a fact. You never know. Hell oh, yeah, that way to be a man. Alright, Rana, time to go beat up Otohime. God, that's such a. <laughs> I mean, I mean, Otohime is probably a good s s fighter. She'll probably last for like a few minutes. <laughs> Alright, the fuck. 
fucking school raid in the next episode. Hell yeah, dude, when you're raiding your own school. <laughs> oh, oh, that's gotta be fun. So I guess we are probably gonna end at episode 12, but <laughs> the whole school raid stuff. Maybe, just maybe, maybe. I don't know, we'll have to see how much they fit in the next episode. Whether they're gonna fit two people fighting, you know, e even when like the, the, the leaders of the, not like the president, but you know, the other leaders of the Onishima Union, they, they were talking about names about like who was on uh, Rokuro's side. The, the, the people who were saying the names, right? They were saying the names of the people that <laughs> they've been looking at before. And I, I assume they're gonna square up to these people. And we've also seen uh, Rhino, right? Deciding that she doesn't want to fight because she loves Rokudo too much. <laughs> I finally found love. <laughs> so, uh, because of that, right? Kazuno's got her eyes, got her ire, got, got his ire. Sorry, that's a Kazuno's a, uh, the little brother. Uh, Kazuno's got an ire for Rokudo, so <laughs> Rokudo better watch out. He's also got Yashia on the move as well, you yeah. <laughs> She did say the next time she'll she'll see him, it's on the fucking battlefield. So <laughs> here we are in the in, in the next episode. We're gonna be on a battlefield. Hell yeah, dude! But all right, folks, we are going to go back to the center. <laughs> all right, so that was episode nine of Rokudo's Bad Girls. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below. You know that I always like talking to you guys. For me, I thought that this was a pretty nice build up to the, the fucking school raid <laughs> that we're gonna have right they, they they gotta go up the to, to the to the roof and people are gonna be there to block their way and uh he he's got his friends at his disposal i say it's his dis i mean i i really say as his disposal yeah because with this whole sort of uh spiel is that uh Rokuro needs to fucking get up to the uh, get up to the roof and like his friends you know we're gonna have the typical shonen fight where it's like go on without me i'll fight this person one-on-one -on -one. you know that whole thing you keep going to your goal <laughs> come on Rokuro. <laughs> so it's 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 probably gonna be like that and so that's gonna be fine uh we're, we're gonna have these people that we've been seeing like they're, they're gonna have a they're, they're gonna square up with someone and as we've seen, Inuma is probably going to square up with Kohei because Kohei knows about him and he was trying to talk to Inuma before. And then we had the buff guy, right? Hondo. He's, he's a super buff guy and he's going to, I assume he's, he's going to be the one going against Osanada because she's the one who's been interacting with him. And we know that Osanada, she's got those hidden muscles somewhere. <laughs> Fucking poor Hando thinking that he's out here lifting weights and all that. And Osanada was just born with it. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like how Rada was born with, uh, uh, born with the bad in her blood. <laughs> Anyways, going back to the beginning, <laughs> I still love that Osana is just in her pajamas. They're over here making plans, and I was thinking about where, what they were planning on doing with Himeno. Because <laughs> I was just like, I, I didn't remember whether Himeno was actually going to be a part of the plan or not. But it seems like she was, so that's good. You know, she's the uh, she was their backup plan. She came in with her whole gang because since she defeated Aoi, she, <laughs> you know, his whole spiel was, "Hey, you defeat me, you you get to be the leader of the gang now." So, <laughs> Himeno, despite her not liking the fact that she's part of a biker gang, <laughs> what are they, the cruiser crew or whatever? They're not the biker gang. I I love that. Like, even though they're they're, they're just fucking sheeples, a Aoi loses and then they get a new leader who probably is, you know, <laughs> not really utilizing them as much, but they're just like, ah, fuck it, sound your leader, we'll just follow her. <laughs> oh, we gotta put on makeup and wear dresses and all that? Fuck it. <laughs> I, I do enjoy with the way that the the boys, uh, they all took off their, uh, <laughs> they all took off their helmet and they've got, like, makeup on them. <laughs> They're so enthusiastic too. I really like it. They're just like, yeah, we're gonna, we're, we're gonna be in dresses and we're gonna, <laughs> like this one dude right here, fucking stuffed his chest. <laughs> They're like, we're gonna fool all the boys. Let's fucking go. <laughs> I love that they're over here like, oh, looking good, Yamada. <laughs> and he's over here like, well, how the, how, how the hell did I fucking get dragged into this? That's because you're all sheeples, sheeples, all of you cruising team that's what it is the cruising team not a biker gang 
the cruising crew would have, would have also been nice. But anyways, yeah, I, uh, I, I also really enjoy, consider that we are having a very Onishima Union focused episode for, for the most part, right? I mean, it's the Onishima Union. Doji, the president, embarking on his plans and like him telling us what he needs to do uh, for this whole, for this whole recruiting thing of Rana. But uh, I, I like that we're so we're out here still seeing a little bit of Aoi's gang, even though he's not really around. Uh, he's, for most part, is uh, has probably has given up on 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 the whole biker thing, right? Because that's what the the cool cop guy uh, wanted him to do. So maybe he'll just become a, a cop a cop guy instead. <laughs> Aoi, I mean. But yeah, I, I kind of enjoy the way that this chapter was uh, chapter this episode was structured, where it just kind of alluded us to a uh, part of a plan that they didn't have, which was Himeno, that they didn't tell us, which was Himeno, so then, you know, kind of gives us that option of, like, when, what is his name, Amano? Is that what it is? Yeah, um, Amano. When Amano arrives, uh, dressed as uh, Rhino, right? We, we saw that there was a bit of a, uh, a hopeless feel to it, right? Because, like, with the way that Rokudo was, uh, I assume he was knocked out, I thought he was just sitting down there and like, oh my god, I can't believe it, you know? But I think Amado kind of just punched him in the stomach and he fainted or something. Because <laughs> they had to wake him up later on. <laughs> so, it, it was nice to give that feeling of like, oh damn, I guess the girls are coming after all, and then we've had the decoy team that was uh, Himeno. I will say though, for Amino, uh, you can see that, well, he he's the older brother and the, I don't know why I keep wanting to call the, the Sumire twins, but they're just siblings, right? They're not twins, they, 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 <laughs> well, whatever, they're, they're siblings. And you can definitely see the, what is it? The, the, the similarity that Amino has, or at least Raizo and, uh, Raizo? <laughs> Rhino and Kazeno have with Amano and as you could kind of see later on when he uh, reveals himself to the siblings right and, and with Rhino uh, talking about how <laughs> love love is the only way <laughs> Rokuno accepted me for who I am and then we've got Rhino coming in who's just like oh so you're just a little fucking girl who fell in love with a with a boy huh we don't need you anymore get out of here Rhino <laughs> This is the boys only club now. <laughs> but uh, it, it, we've had Amino who says like, hey, I was the one who taught you the, the whole makeup stuff. So like, what are you, you going to do? You're going to fucking squander my, my teachings to you and all that? So, <laughs> so we at least know that like Amino is the reason why they started doing their makeup. But then at the same time, it's like, is he also the reason why they decided to switch their gender? Like, why? <laughs> Other than you know to 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 have some sort of s secrecy, uh, I I I don't know. But I will say with Amino's voice, I I I don't know why it feels like it doesn't really fit him all that much. I I do find it very funny because all of the Sumire siblings are voiced by the same person. <laughs> So Rhino, Kazuno, and Amino, they're all voiced by the same person. And you can- I, I will say, what a fucking range of voice <laughs> the, the voice actor is. It's a, it's, it's a she, and it's just fucking great, dude. You can see, like, wh when, when she does Rhino's, like, actual voice, like her girl voice, right? It's, uh, it's, it's, it, it's very good. It's very sweet, and I really enjoy it. And Kazuno is uh, also- kind of has that tempo too when she's uh when he's supposed to be in his like girl mode but you can also hear the voice actor going into a very deeper tone when uh <laughs> when rhino is trying to talk in her boy voice or kazuno is going into his boy voice right so you can see that range and then here's amino who's acting all like high and mighty all fucking evil and shit Right, with uh, the, the scene at the bridge and how Amado's just like, this was the expression that I wanted this whole time. There's the look, that's the face I wanted to see. <laughs> All I could think about was like, wow, that really just, I mean, again, it's the same VA, but like, it really just sounds like Rhino in her girl voice, but sounding very evil. And I'm just over here like, I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> It's so it's so off-putting in the way that in the way that Amino's voice. I I I don't know if like he's. I mean, we saw the way that he talks to his siblings, right? And his voice is still very high up. 
<laughs> so his his voice is a little weird. I, I I but this is just coming from me where I just kind of expect a lot of people to have a little bit of a deeper voice. It doesn't matter whether they're a boy or a girl. I'm always just kind of like, oh, you know, I kind of expect them to have a bit of a deeper voice. Anyways, I do enjoy that we're still getting bits and pieces of Rhino's story while we're having uh, we're about to have the school raid and all that. Uh, I would assume that Rhino's gonna come out and help them at some point. You know, I I mean. Is Rhino just there for like I I I it, look if Rhino is supposed to be like a not a super strong but like a person who goes around beating people up and all that, right? Don't you think that uh she could just break off of that rope? I I I don't know I don't know maybe she can't break and break that rope and that's why she's just sitting there. <laughs> she was also beat up so yeah she needs to recover her energy and all that but. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, we'll see if she'll be able to break through that rope or someone will come and help her. We'll, we'll just have to see. Okay, so in the next part with the Ryugu gang and uh, <laughs> Otohime being here, right? We've got Subaki who's, try who's trying her best. She's not a good fighter or anything, but she's trying her damn this to tell them to get the fuck out of here. Most of the Ryugu got out of the way, except for that one blonde chick for some reason. I don't know why. She's just like, don't worry. She could take care of herself. And then and then she doesn't leave. And I'm just over here like, why why didn't you fucking leave? And then, she, of course, she's here because she has to get captured. So then Otohime would be like, all right, fine. I'll go. I'll follow you guys. Because if she didn't, they'd have to, like, fucking kick her ass. <laughs> or at the very least, they'd have to, like, take Tsubaki. You, you know, maybe Otohime carries a, a little bit. You know, she doesn't want people to get hurt other than the fact that she's going to slap the fuck out of you. <laughs> I love that. She's just like, if you guys aren't gonna listen to me, you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to talk it out diplomatically and all, but if you guys aren't gonna talk back to me, y'all gonna get the slap. <laughs> and the fact that the girl gang is just like, oh my god, the slap. <laughs> Little Bime has just fucking whacked them on the back of the head several times before. <laughs> but man, uh, we, we saw how Otohime was able to handle herself. I mean, she slapped that one boy and then he just fainted. And she was uh, out here duking it out with Yashia before uh, Hondo came on over to, you know, attempt to break one of her gang members' uh, arm and all that. Because, of course, that was her reason to be there. It's to be a burden. <laughs> so, Otohime has been captured and now she's gonna duke it out with Rana because... Of course, and our uh, our plan is to get up to the roof before Rana kicks <laughs> Otohime's ass fully. <laughs> so we'll we'll just have to see. And towards the end, with uh, what Doji's been trying to say, right? Doji's uh, <laughs> we we've got all these clash of like cliche storylines, which is just fucking fine. You know, I I, I just love it. It's <laughs> it's very cheesy <laughs> with the way that Doji says like. Rana was born black. Uh, I don't know why I keep wanting to say blad. Like, I want to say bad blood. Anyway, she was born bad. And you can't- She- She was already bad by the time you found her. You were only trying to make her good. You know, the- The good side. The boring side. <laughs> And it's just fantastic. And we've got, you know, the way that he was planning for Rana to finally separate herself from the, the the normal world, which is to beat up her friend, Otohime. To which, you know what? If Doji really wanted her to sever her connection, he, he could have just gone through a drastic measure and just kill Rokudo. I mean, maybe Rana would just go on a full-on rampage and just destroy everybody, but he could just kill him and then cover it up like someone else has done it and, you know, let her go on a, a goose chase or whatever. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, if you want to fucking cut this earthly tether from Rana, I, I don't think it's beating up Otohime. <laughs> I think you have to get her to beat Rokudo up, you know, okay? Again, get rid of that earthly tether that she has. But whatever, you know, this is his plan right now. He's gonna get Rana to beat up Otohime as her initiation. And uh, we'll just have to see it uh, when we see it. <laughs> so that's gonna be fun. And uh, of course, we've got the the, the, <laughs> the the scene with Rokudo yelling into the... Yelling into the... Uh, why can't I... Why can't, why can't I remember the other name other than the walkie-talkie? So he yells into the walkie-talkie. 
And I know that Rokudo is also the same guy who is currently voicing, what is his name, Nakami from Insomniac After School. I know that he's also voicing something else, I believe. I can't remember, but those are the two that I currently remember what the voice actor for Rokudo is. And it's, uh, <laughs> wow, dude. It, it, you know, when, when, he, when he needs to get into that stream, he, he really fucking does it, right? With the way that he screams, like, oh, you think that... I, you, you don't fucking say the, the shit that you're saying. I can make Rana happy. <laughs> and it, it's just so fucking good that when he gets passionate, he gets real passionate. Even Unima is just like, hell yeah, now that's the way of being a man. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's very nice. And as Rokudo thought, he's just like, oh man, with the way that I said that, people probably think that I'm asking for her in marriage or whatever, right? <laughs> Little does he know. Dude, like, Rana's really... The only person that you've given a gift to all this time, so well we'll have to see if you've got that if you've got that wedding in the far far future, huh? But overall, it was a good build up episode to the uh to the fucking school raid that that we're gonna have, so it's going to be fun. It's going to be nice to see uh the the, the little fight scenes, you know, the the shojo the shojo the shonen fight scenes that we're gonna get <laughs> again with you know everybody squaring off with one another. <laughs> So that's that's going to be fun and if I have anything else to say I will write it in the description down below. Thank you guys for sticking around and I will see you guys in the next episode.